just like that. Car is drivable again. It's front wheel drive. This piece in my hand is a slip joint. Take a look at that. Got the spline broke off right at the end of that from a hard launch. So anyway, as you guys see, we wasted about $500 on this drive shaft, getting it cut and balanced. So that's kind of a bummer. Oh, what a day this was when I broke it. So we got the, obviously like I said, the broken side. This is the cup that this is bouncing in. So that's what we were hearing. Um, so right there, that is a spline piece that uh, goes on here, like I mentioned in the video previously. And uh, we got a couple options. So I guess let's just talk. So driving this car one day. I launched it and it broke. So what do we got what do we gotta do is I kind of meant, I kind of said that like I was asking what are we gonna do, but what we're gonna end up doing is I'm gonna be ordering another dry shaft for this thing. It is gonna be one with a heavy duty slip joint on it and 13 10 joints versus this um this slip joint. I have, I have one that's not broken hanging out right here. I'll show you guys how it's supposed to look but basically that little cup that was bouncing in is not it's not supposed to be flopping around but anyway in order a new shaft that is going to set us back eleven hundred dollars which means the plans ahead for the car were are scrapped now because i got to pay for a dry shaft originally i was going to run this dry shaft um or i was running the dry shaft um uh, coil unplug I've got my twin disc sitting right there from Clutch Masters. I will show you guys that. I'll just give you guys an update on what's going on with the car. That was all going to go in. It was going to be all fine and dandy. Put E85 in it, make it around 650, and try to break the nine second mark that I'm trying to go after on the street with this car. But that's not going to happen. So that is really shitty. And it's unfortunate. And I've been meaning to make this video kind of give you guys a little update. The car is, everything else seems to be okay underneath it. I was worried about the transfer case being broken since being that it is a stock B-series transfer case. But it's kind of stock, so it does have a straight cut uh, transfer gear on the end of the case and in the transmission. Uh, I did that because I didn't want to crack open the transmission to replace that stock transfer gear. In, or, in order to run that transfer gear, we have to put the one on the T-case so it can mate up. So it has transfer gears on it, and it has a speed factory titanium dowel and a factory bracket that you're gonna run that attaches to the bottom of the block. It has all that stuff in it, so it does have a traction bar too, so the car, car launch is pretty good. However, this drive shaft is not designed to take this kind of abuse apparently, at least the way I drove it. Car is not going to be getting retuned and none of that stuff until until I can figure out the dry shaft and figure out obviously the money. So with that said, let's go take a look at uh, this dry shaft up here or this slip joint, the front shaft, whatever you guys want to call it, prop shaft, whatever. Let's take a look at it and let's see what it's supposed to look like. And um, I'll show you guys the clutch and my. Coil unplug. So the car is not running right now. The ECU is out of it. I sent the ECU in to get the coil unplug stuff soldered into the board. So before you get under the car, this is what uh, I cut this boot. It had a little tear in it, but I cut it to kind of see how the components look, see if I can salvage any parts, kind of flip them around. But obviously the shaft is sheared off so that's not gonna work this is an oem shaft this just had a lot of play in it um this one lasted a, no pro it's, it's technically still usable i'm just not going to pay the money at 500 dollars to get it cut down rebalanced and thrown back on the car i'd much rather take that 500 bucks put it towards new shaft but 
Uh, this one took a lot of abuse and is still good. This is an OEM one. That is probably why. So, speaking of coil unplug, when I got these coil packs from Kevin, um, he says, I love you, Poppy, <laughs> from your biggest fan. More than Stan, Kevin, weird boy. Kevin, weird boy, 90. That's my boy on Instagram. Um, he sent me the trailing arms that are on the back of this car. He's a really good dude, guys. You know, he helped me out so much with this car. Love you, Kevin. You talk a lot of shit, but I love you, buddy. So, let's go under the car and find my light. It is under the car already. Okay. So, a couple things before, before we end up doing a new drive shaft. It's hard to tell, but you can see the shaft is... And it's not a good angle. I do need to um, I'm gonna throw a couple shims on the diff where it mounts right where it mounts to that bar. So I'm gonna throw some shims between the diff and that and that plate that is bolted to. Uh, kind of kick the diff straighter. Kind of I gotta get an angle finder. We're gonna strain that out. These metal adapters they worked amazing. You know, they worked amazing um, for the stock drive shaft, but we are no longer going to need that because when you get a new drive shaft from, you know, PFT or S1, kind of like their heavy duty one, you, it, they weld on the ends so you don't even have to um, get any adapters. So obviously, the front shaft is off the car. So, I'm really proud of this CRV diff, guys. It took a clutch drop. It took a pretty nasty clutch drop on accident. I believe it was a clutch drop. I don't even know what happened at this point, dude. I kind of just got a little excited. I do think the thumping that I heard, uh, that I heard from the front was actually uh, not the clutch dropping, but the damn shaft breaking. So that's kind of a problem. We can now drive this car as soon as I get my EC back because it doesn't have a, um, that noise is no longer going to be present because you don't have anything bouncing around that's broken up there. But, guys, this CRV diff, people got to quit talking them down, dude. It took the abuse. It's going to take more abuse, and I guarantee you we're going to have zero problems with it for a while. At some point, we will. All right. Let's drop this car. Damn, dude, what the heck? Oh, jack stand. I want to show you guys under the hood. I know a lot of people, um, they do ask me questions about the car. If you guys give you guys a quick breakdown, I do want to do like a full breakdown on this turd. But right now is not a good time because it is not even running. I don't know if that really matters to you guys, but anyway, there she goes. Nice and easy. Got to film it in case something stupid happens. No, I'm just joking. So, this is a 1993 Honda Civic four-door. Alright, All right. it's a 1993 Honda Civic. We are doing B-series stuff in this house. We don't do K-series shit, so back up with that. So anyway, these are no longer going to be needed. So... A nice sharp up pipe right there. Damn. Damn, dude. GSR sleeved 84 and a half millimeter. Carrillo pistons, they're nine and a half to one, or something like that. Nine to one. Stock ITR crank. Very nice crankshaft. Um, I do like it because it's very well balanced. And I think the you know having the slightly less torque is probably beneficial for the stock T case. Um, Manly H beams, H beam rods, 6266 turbo. Uh, it's just a fully built head, Pro One cams. We have the Golden Eagle cam gears because they are just amazing. And it's it's a it's a cool setup. It has a 2000 2000 CRV transmission, gear X one through fourth, uh, top eliminator gear set, and factory limited slip. And just has a carbon, uh, a Syncrotec carbon master rebuild kit, all work done by Translab. Brian Spiker at Translab. He's an amazing guy to work with. And he just, no bullshit. 
get it done, get it out. So he also did the T case gear. Um, sheepy manifold that's been properly rewelded because it's cracked on me like three times. And CRV diff, CRV rear diff, uh, Freelander, whatever's left of this one, ignore that shit. Freelander dry shaft and viscous 30k. Only way to do it if you're running a CRV diff, you want to do 30k. All right, so I didn't get this clutch for no reason. We're still going to put it in the car. It is a Clutch Masters twin disc. I'd, I'd already opened it up just to take a look at it. Post it on my Instagram. It is beautiful. Twin disc. And they're not like the other companies. I'm not going to mention names that say, don't drive it on the street. It's your fault for brakes. But yeah, it came with some spec sheets for uh, torquing on flywheel bolts and pressure plate stuff. We will not, we were not going to need this. Well, I guess uh, I'll wait to really be sure. I'm pretty sure that the hydro bearing that I ordered uh, does not use that throttle bearing. I think it's just a uh, hydro bearing with two lines coming out of it. Meaning, we do not need this slave cylinder anymore. We're going to be getting rid of that. It's going to just have uh, two lines coming out. One to go to my main clutch line, or the clutch line, and one to bleed it. So you guys will see when we get to that point, we're going to be installing this clutch. So with that said, guys... This is not a very exciting video. I just want to make this video to kind of update you guys on the car and to kind of explain what are we going to do with it and moving forward, I guess, the future of it. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully I answered a lot of you guys' questions. Um, I've gotten questions about like the gear set and the motor and stuff like that. Uh, if you guys do have any more questions, go ahead and just throw them in the comments. I read all the comments. I reply to all my comments. And just kind of support the channel, you know, help me out. <laughs> help me out by supporting the channel. Uh, give it, obviously, a like. Subscribe. We've come a long way. And um, we're going to keep going. I, I'm i trying to, like, film some actual racing. And I'm, I'm really sorry, guys. Uh, I planned on racing the night, the, the evening that I broke this car. And that did not happen. So, with that said, hopefully you guys got some questions answered. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And like I said... Any questions, comments, and that is all I got for you guys. Later.